Blessed be everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a beginner's money spell for $500. You can of course change the amount, you can do it for $1,000 or $3,000 or $200. It's up to you what the amount is, I'm just going to demonstrate with $500. Before we dive into that spell though, I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com, author of Crafting Your Wiccan Path and Tapping Into Abundance. And if you want to learn more about Wicca, witchcraft, shadow work, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. And if you want to become a better spell caster, as in knowing the, the steps to take to plan your spell and do your spell, then download my free PDF, The Spell Caster's Checklist. The link is in the description field below this video. This spell is a really simple spell to do. It's a reasonably quick spell to do, and you really only need two ingredients. One is a white candle, which at the moment I have covered in nutmeg because I've done this video, I've done it, but this is the third take of the video. So it's a white candle. You can use a green candle if you have a green candle, but if you're starting out and you just want to use what you may already have available to you in the home or something that's just really easy to get from a supermarket, a white candle is all you need. Traditionally, witches worked with white candles or beeswax candles because that was really all that was available. So the whole colour thing that we often use now in modern magic isn't absolutely necessary. It's helpful, but it's not necessary. And then you will need a herb or a spice that is associated with money. In this case, I'm working with nutmeg. You could also use cinnamon, you could use ginger, and you can even crush up some bay leaves and use those as well. Whatever you have in your cupboard, uh, your pantry, is fine for this sort of magic. So I'm going to show you how to roll the candle in the herbs. So you've got the herbs connecting to your candle. So when you're rolling your herb, you want to spread your herb or spice, in this case of nutmeg, uh, onto a piece of paper of some sort so that you're not making a huge mess. You want to roll the candle toward you. So as you do so, the herb will, or spice in this case, will stick to your candle. And as you're rolling your candle, you also want to be think of the money coming to you. So that candle's rolling towards you, that's the money coming to you. So focus on that $500 in this case, or however much you're doing it for, it's coming to you rolling in, the money is rolling in, rolling on in. And then when you feel you have enough, you can put your paper away. And you've got your money candle all ready to go. So take a few moments before you start your spell to focus once again on what it is that you're bringing into your life right now. Think of that $500 and what you're going to spend that $500 on, what that's going to be for, what you're going to be doing with it. You can either see it in your hand if it's going to be cash or you can see it in your bank account if it's going to come electronically. You could see yourself drawing it out. You could see yourself transferring it. It depends on what you're wanting to do with that money. Maybe you just want to see it sitting there in your bank account and feel into the feeling of it being there and how much relief that gives you and how much joy that will give you, seeing it there, feeling into that as those emotions. And you want to do that before you start your spell because it's a way of preparing yourself for the spell, focusing. And then you want to think of what you're going to say as you do your chant or as you do your spell. So you may want to say, a really quick little spell such as $500 comes to me easily, effortlessly, for my good. I am prospered. $500 comes to me easily, effortlessly, and for my good, I am prospered. You can write that down or you can remember it. And as you're feeling into that feeling, and getting really into that feeling of the wish fulfilled. Step into being that person who has that extra $500. So you as a person 
who has that extra money coming into you. It's going to change you in some way. That sense of relief, that sense of joy, it's going to change you in some way. So be that changed person because you've actually got to be the person who has these things for you to really have them and to hold on to them and to have more of them. So as you're feeling into that, simply light your candle. And as you watch the flame, feeling into that extra $500 coming into your bank account and then say your spell. $500 comes to me easily and effortlessly and for my good. I am prospered. $500 comes to me easily and effortlessly for my good. I am prospered. $500 comes to me easily and effortlessly. I am prospered. $500 comes to me easily and effortlessly. I am prospered. And say this chant over and over and over again. You can even speed it up, get a little faster when you're saying it because that will help build the energy. $500 comes to me easily and effortlessly and for my good, I am prospered. And you can even just use the I am prospered, I am prospered, I am prospered towards the end of your spell chant. And the more you get into the chant and the more your body gets into the chant, you'll notice that you'll get a bit excited and that you'll find that your nervous system is starting to rev up and get excited and happy about this. It will change the way that you feel about yourself. It'll change the way that you feel about your world. And what it's doing is it's sending a message to your subconscious mind that you are prospered. And that will allow you then to bring more of that prosperity to you. The magic is within you, okay? It isn't in the candle. It isn't even in the nutmeg. It is in you and what you're doing is you're activating the energy. You're activating it by using the candle, by utilizing the energies of the nutmeg and its properties. You're simply activating that energy and using it to help you get in the mindset of having that extra money and also to be putting it out to the universe that that extra money is already here with you and you are the sort of person that has that extra bit of money. Allow the candle to burn down if you can do so safely. So you may want to move it, you may have to move it, you may have to put it in a sink somewhere away from curtains or put it in the bathtub or the shower away from the curtains, <laughs> somewhere where if it did fall over, it's not going to set anything on fire. Some people will put uh, their candle in their cauldron uh, other people will simply move it to another location where they can keep an eye on it. So if you're able to be somewhere where you can keep an eye on the candle, then that's great too. It's wonderful to keep your candles on your altar and allow them to burn down, but you have to always think of safety first. So it doesn't matter if you move your candle somewhere to let it burn down safely. If that's not possible to let your candle burn all the way down safely, then yes, you can snuff it out and then relight it again later. When you do relight it again later, you want to say that chant again as you light the candle and then let it burn down a little bit more each day. That is a way that you can do it. If you want to learn Wicca and witchcraft with me, then you can certainly do so by joining the Mystery Witch School 101 Academy. It's a 12-month course. You'll learn candle magic. You'll also learn other aspects of the craft, such as energy work and working with the Sabbaths, working with the lunar energies and working with deities. The course is there to help you connect more to yourself, to bring witchcraft into your everyday life, to give it more meaning and to bring more joy, peace and harmony in your life. So if you're interested in that, the link to the Mystery Witch School 101 Academy is in the description field below this video. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. Blessed be.